Welcome to episode 19 of A Week in the Life of a UK student reseller. This week we don't have any live cops I'm afraid, just because I haven't been doing the greatest with using my bots. Just with Foot Locker, Cyber's Bypass has been clipped, so I can't really run in that regard without using a load of proxy data and a bunch of tasks just like having a chance of getting through and then getting carted an item. So I haven't been doing the best on that site. With Flare, I've been trying to diversify my setup running Zalando, Courier, SNS, but with Zalando, my accounts keep getting clicked, which is so frustrating just because I keep buying new accounts every release and they don't seem to work. But yeah, I'm just trying to diversify at the moment and see what other sites I can bot, see if there are any low-key sites I can bot, stuff like that. But most of the stuff this week they'll be showing you, I have got manual or just slot runners that have been running for me. So yeah, sorry about that. But I do have a surprise for you guys at the end if you stay tuned, so make sure to watch it at the very end to find out what is. But yeah, stay tuned with this video to see how we get on. Right folks, so we got a couple more packages that came in the mail today and then I just went and saw again this morning I managed to pick up a couple more items so I'll show you what we got. Firstly, um, we did just manage to pick up another one of those uh, blue dunks, this one in a size 4, again from JD, last pair, I thought I might as well pick it up, they're moving at like 100 as I said from the previous um, clip, but yeah. Pretty um, good pickup, just £60 to buy, so I thought I might as well pick it up. And then the next one, we did manage to secure another PS5 digital from a game in store, which is good. Um, I got the digital because they're moving a bit faster, and because of the lower retail, it does leave more room for profit. So about 100, 120 on top, depending if you sell local or on marketplaces. But yeah, I'm pretty happy about those two in-store pickups. Let's get into the online pickups. First one from Office. Okay, so the first one is an apricot mid in a size three. They shop dropped randomly on one afternoon this week and I saw the ping and just went straight on it because I knew they moved fast and went for a size 3 which is the best size in my opinion. But yeah, you've seen these on a previous episode before but this second pair, currently I haven't checked the market recently but they were sitting around the 200 mark so around like 70 on top which is pretty good. Definitely a women's colourway and shoe target but yeah. That's the first pickup, so I'm happy about that. And then this is the second one. Okay, so the second one is a 6Y Jordan Mid, 5.5 men's. So this is the um, Crimson Tin. Here it is. Um, this is a GS pair. Um, the GS pair do seem to be moving a bit better just because of the lower retail so it leaves more room for profit. But they're currently sitting around, I think it was the um, like £18 mark and they're 55 to buy. So definitely some room for some lunch money nevertheless. But yeah, I'm happy about this. This dropped on the same day as the apricots funnily enough. Just saw the pig and flex, best cook group in the game. Do not sleep on it. But yeah, pick these up. Obviously got the pink or crimson as they're calling it back and then the black toe with the white white and the pink outsole. But yeah. So I'm pretty happy about those um, four pickups we got in. Um, but that's all we got in for the moment. Oh, uh, we did have a foot locker drop of the zebras. I wasn't able to get any footage from it, but Cyber did manage to secure us one pair, which I'm happy about. I'll show you what that looks like in hand, but I think currently they're sitting around the 140 mark, so pretty good nevertheless. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right, folks, so five of the first cause bogos just came in, and we also just got a neutral grey 85 low, in a size 9.5, my personal size. My brother's account managed to hit this off sneakers, so I'm pretty happy about that. Really wanted this for personal. Just a really clean summer shoe, as I say. So let's see what these cause burgers are like. Right, folks. So first 
Lee, we've got five of the course logo. We've got the three reds, uh, a pink and a white today. We're still waiting on four more. So they should be coming in, and once they come in, I'll be sure to show you them. But currently, resale is sitting around the 80 to 70 pound work. That's what I sold all mine at. I pre sold them all straight away on the day, just so they didn't dip. So it's around like a 30 pound on top, which isn't too bad considering how oversaturated the market is with burgers and that sort of thing. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we were able to secure a good volume, so that's good as well. And we didn't get any cancellations, so they all should be coming in, which is good. But yeah, these will go straight out now. As I said, I'll show you the other for when they come in. But yeah, that's all we got in today. So stay tuned for some more updates. Right, folks, so we just got the rest of the course bogos in the rest so that's nine in total no cancellation so pretty happy about that i'll show you the rest of the colors now right folks so that's the rest of the four that came in these going straight out with the other orders but yeah that's all we got in so far today so stay tuned for some more updates right folks we just got another package in the mail so let's unbox it now and see what's inside So it is a dunk box as you can see. So it's a um so it's the animal pack, the I think it's called the zebra or something, but as I said, I was running out on cyber, I didn't have any footage, but I managed to cop it anyway. Here it is in hand. So um it's got black leather and then the zebra print with the grey swoosh and the black um a white midsole and then kind of like a greyish outsole. The leather's not that great on this pair, but um, it does look a bit better in hand than the photos, I must say. Um, but still, um, because the colorway is quite boring compared to the draft pair, which is doing about like 170-ish, this is only doing around 140, but still some uh, profit to be made nevertheless. Um, I didn't use any residential data for these, just put my ISPs, I was only running 100 tasks and we managed to hit one, shout out to Evolve Proxies, um, but yeah, pretty good, nevertheless, we, that's the first time we've hit Foot Locker in a while now, so I'm happy about that nevertheless, um, but yeah, this is all we got in today, stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, so we just got another package in from Nike. I'm not really sure what it is because I haven't hit sneakers recently, so we'll just have to see what's inside, so let's see. Okay, so it's a Jordan 4 box. It's a 3.5 wide, so UK 3. It is the Jordan 4 Reverse Oreo or Tech White, whatever you call it. So it must be from one of my slot runners who's running me Nike slots. So definitely shout out to him. Um, I didn't see any charges on my card and this come through, so I'm pretty chuffed about that. Thank you very much. Um, so here they are in hand. The leather's actually pretty nice on these, to be honest. I thought it would be a lot stiffer, but yeah, definitely some good leather. Um, it's got your reverse Oreo grey speckled, as always, and then white laces, white outsole, and then grey Jumpman on the back, standard Jordan 4. Um, this first Jordan 4 I've actually ha had in hand before, so pretty cool to see that. It's got the air bubble underneath. But yeah, I think girls would definitely like this shoe a lot because it's a classical white colorway. Currently, the men's sizes are sitting around the 160, uh, 260 to 270. Um, it's only because UK and EU have a lot of delayed releases and only US has really released them. UK has released them on sneakers and then the GS on Foot Locker and, and a couple of other sites, but not many because of the delayed deliveries. So prices are staying high. I expect it to dip when we get more retailers but yeah I'm happy that we were able to pick up this nevertheless um, I expect these to dip as I said when more sites release them and but definitely a good hold nevertheless classic all white silhouette with your reverse Oreo I'd say they'll re reach the 320 350 in about 12 to 17 weeks something like that but yeah definitely cool nevertheless but that's all we got in today, so stay tuned for some more updates. Thank you folks so much for watching this week's episode. I am again sorry that there's no live cops, but you did get to see 
some unboxings and some success nevertheless and also my thoughts on the reverse Oreos let me know down below what you guys think of them do you like them do you not like them and what releases are you looking forward to going forward but yeah hopefully I'll have some more live cops next week but on to the announcement um, we did recently hit 100 subscribers so I'm pretty chuffed about that I never thought when I started this that we'd make that many subscribers I thought I'd just do it on the side like just for myself and if people liked it, they liked it. If they didn't, they didn't. It's whatever. But we did hit the milestone, so I'm pretty happy about that. So in return, I thought I'd do a little giveaway. So I have decided to give this Aerial Skateboard Supreme Deck away, completely DS in the packaging. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment down below. And next video, I'll pick the winner with the random name selector, and I'll get that sent out to you free of charge, no gimmicks no cap but yeah that is all i have to announce thank you again for all the support and stay tuned for next week's video to find out the giveaway winner and see if we're more successful